M0FXB Walkie Toolkit on the Play Store for Android. It connects your phone via your normal programming cable, your UV5R cable that you would buy for £5, but it connects it via USB-C, which is connected at the bottom there. So I've been tinkering with, with it for about an hour now, just trying to familiarise myself with the correct settings to put in, and we've finally got there. So once you connect here, and let's see if we go back from the beginning, okay? And sometimes you've got to tap it a couple of times. You, know, you click reload, and it scans, and if it doesn't find it the first time, just do it again. But look, it's downloading, and it's flashing the red light here from my Bofang UV5R. I'm going to try it with a few other radios. So it automatically detects it. It detects the firmware and the serial number, as you can see there. Then you start to, you know, type in your frequency. So I found you just need to tap one. And if we just go here and put the name in, so we'll go, um, let's go double click. And it's, it does say use capitals, B3. It's £4.99, by the way, FI. Then you do the frequency. So we're going to do 430. Zero and it is here the flat line and the dot dot nine two five offset and I was tinkering with this bit for ages so on the other one I had to put in pretty sure it was naught naught six hundred let's just try it now naught seven dot six hundred let's just do that for now done and then your tone transmit only I is all I need. So like so, and it's 77 for that particular repeater, nothing on receive. And I think that's it. Um, doesn't seem to like the, uh, use only capital letters, numbers, or symbols. Well, I have done that. Doesn't seem to like that name. Let's just go back and just go double click G, B, 3, F. I well it seems alright in that time. Go save. Okay, so we've got another one in there. Then you, you can actually save it to the, this device. So you've got you know storage, it's got two saves there that you can go back into. Once you've done that, then you can just you don't have to save there, but we go upload to radio, it says upload to the radio. So do not disconnect. So now if I come off oh. now. And then what we'll do is go up to that channel. One, two, four. There's the one I just put in, and we'll go M0FXB test, test. Let's open the repeater. So I've got to admit, I quite like it, because it does mean that you don't actually have to download software on your PC. You don't need, you've got the cable already. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just, I'll do it now while we're talking. I'm just going to connect a different both of them on and see if it even detects it. But just to let you know though, you can go in and set all your settings as well. Go to settings here. And you've got squelch, battery saving, backlight time, frequency steps, timeout, which actually should be higher. Uh, dual watch, B, all the settings that you are used to. Display mode, if you want to display the name, the channel, number, or the frequency. You can even change it. And what I like about both is they do have all these different colour lights, don't they? Purple, orange, and blue, which I just think is great fun. Now, I know we all, you know, I've got some beautiful Bofeng radios here. Uh, like this one here, for example. Uh, absolutely beautiful, lovely. But it's about 40-odd pounds, yeah? Uh, but I still like my little Bofeng. I can slip it in my pocket. I've been using it for years. I'm familiar with it. I just like using it. Um, and so having this app is actually, and then once you've paid for it once, then that, you can download it on all your Android phones, or I will try it on my tablet later. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's pretty good, actually. So I'll put the link in. Uh, let me just quickly add another, a different device and just see even if it detects it. I'll put the posh one in, but I, I definitely don't think it will detect this. This is the AR26, very similar to the UVR Pro model. But let's just try it. So we'll go back reload and it's scanning and trying to find it uh probably won't find it but then i'll grab one of my more basic ones i've got like one of those red ones here uh, it has got a color screen so yeah connect your bow it's basically saying no and then do make sure 
that you've got the lead really pushed in firmly, I found, especially on the phone side, because um, uh, it will lose connection, possibly. Um, so no joy with that one. Let's try, let's try a different one. Okay, this one. <laughs> and uh, put the lead in. Because I did notice, I'll show you in a minute. I mean, it's got some... Let's just turn it on and off a minute. I haven't actually used this for about a year and look, it's still got charge. So uh, let's go reload. And it's it's doing it by the looks of it. Look, it's, it was showing, well, it did show it briefly that it was trying to do it. It's doing it. And that's a color screen Bofeng 17 Pro. And I've got three or four of these actually. And if you go to the memory channel, did I put any in there? Oh, I've got a few in there, all like PMR and all kinds of stuff. Um, and then settings, again, settings. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's, let's look just for fun. Let's try a Quashang. Uh, why not? Already, I'm happy with it, um, that it's a useful thing for a fiver. I think it's worth it. So I don't think this will work, but hey, come on. Let's give it a go. And it looks like I'd look up the developer. I'm sure that he's, uh, if, if he if he sells many of these, gets some money. But um, yeah, that's definitely not working. I'm just going to make sure I push it in correctly. But I recommend, uh, Mr. Developer, that you get a Quanchang on it. That's going to boost your sales of this software. It must be doable if Chirp can do it. Let's try another one. Well, I sort of know it's going to work on this one. Um, so let's just go. I notice it's setting about a photograph. We'll have a look at that in a minute. On the other, on the one I just disconnected. So let's just reload and just see if it does it in a minute. Yeah, straight away it's working. Like so. Sorry I'm filming it like this, but it was a bit awkward because it had the big USB C. Um so memory channel, is there any did I put any in this one? Oh my god, I'm so bad. I tend to factory reset my radios. Uh, but anyway, so that and that's a lovely bowfung, isn't it? Come on, that's a really nice bowfung, that one. I, I'd actually buy another one, but you know me, I, I just love buying radios. Anyway, let's put this, um, this is the 17 Pro, because I noticed there was a bit of a setting there that mentioned boot up photograph, okay? So let's put this in, and we'll go back, and we'll do a read. Actually, oh, hang on a minute, I didn't want to do that. Oh my God, it's uploading nothing onto my radio. Uploading one channel, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, I'm glad it didn't work. Right, that's good. So let's push it in. So let's go reload. And we'll probably go back, reload. Oh, I've done that mid mid program, haven't I? Just give me. Let me get to the right place. Okay, it just started. It actually corrected itself. It definitely put some work into this. Right. Yeah, you can see the things that now. If you go to set, I noticed there was a thing there that said special, special tool, and it actually just said 17 Pro boot pitch, boot picture. So let's uh, choose one from the gallery, and I've got loads of things here from radio stuff. Let's choose, oh, um, let's do, oh, I've got a Thunderpole CB on review. Uh, did it, hmm, it doesn't look like Thunderpole CB. Let's go back. So obviously, you're Ah, it's done it. Upload to radio. Come on. Let's do this. Right, I bet you we got to tell it to use it. So let's just quickly go into menu and look for... Well, there's my firmware. I literally haven't used this for years. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a really good set. And we want the picture, don't we? Tell it to use the picture. Come on. Oh, look at all the menus. Power on. There it is. Logo. Oh, maybe we didn't need we different. It's not giving us. It's saying logo. And then we'll go off. Then on. Not working at the moment. Upload to radio. It could be the screen resolution, you know. Let's do another one, and then we'll, we'll end the video then. Let's reload. Ah, there it is. Upload to radio. I mean, you can do it with software. 
Not at the moment, but I got a feeling we can change from logo. Actually, let's see if we can do it in the settings on this. Uh, stored settings. Oh yeah, that's when we yeah saved our channels earlier. Let's go back, open, uh, reload. Let it scan, and then and then we'll end the video. Sorry, I'm being a bit boring now. Um, let it do its thing, and then just see if we can see a setting in there to use a photograph. So it's downloading. So I'm not touching anything. It's doing it all on its own. Sorry if it's not the best focus, but I'll put a link in for the app and I'm going to quick look in a second to see if, it, if, it, if this app works on the on your iPhone or your Mac. So settings and I'm just looking for boot pick. Dual watch, clear, FM, GPS. Didn't know this one had GPS. I'm going to turn that on. Didn't even know that one had GPS, but maybe this model doesn't. I don't know. Image, power on is image. Yeah, it is. So it is selected as an image, so that's not gone on there. Uh, well, let's upload the settings anyway. And um, see if a little GPS logo comes on. Because I do buy some models that are GPS, some that aren't. Not seeing anything GPS-y there at the moment, so... All right, bye for now, 7.3, links in the description. Quick one on the iPhone, let me just check. No, nothing on iPhone, bye for now, 7.3, check it out. Oh, look, oh, I didn't realise that, look. It actually gets a photograph, no, it's not exactly the same, but it gets a photograph of the radio that it's detected, 7.3.